Welcome to Indulger's Guide on How to Attract Someone and Make Your First Impression a Good One. We all wish that other people should appreciate us. When you engage with someone higher in status than yours, you must want or have the opportunity to create tremendous long-lasting impressions that can lead to new professional or personal relationships. You might or might not be surprised to know that this has a lot to do with your internal mental state. To do so, you have to use a suitable body language. You need a unique image. You must say the right things and have attractive personality and qualities to make people feel special and comfortable around you. Indulging Guide will show you how your unique features, whether it's a pace, gesture, facial expression, pitch style, way of approaching, or your clothing, can make you attractive to others so you can leave a very good first impression. Let's start it now. Self-confident. Self-confidence is the key to achieve excellence in life and broaden your experience. Self-confident will show you many ways that you can't even visualize while remaining shy and nervous because you will be far less likely afraid to experience new things. People who are confident in themselves are able to captivate and attract other people's attention. Self-confidence comes when you know yourself and your strengths. You will get to know yourself as much as you can and this will automatically make you feel more confident. Present yourself properly. Another key to leave a good impression is to present yourself appropriately. Pay attention to how you will seem to others. Sharpen your look. Keep yourself fit and healthy. Have a decent hairstyle. Use fragrance. And choose clothing colors and styles that complement your figure. The person you are meeting for the first time doesn't know who you are, so your appearance is usually the first indication he or she has to go on. This doesn't mean that you need to look like a model unless you are interviewing. For business and social meetings, the dress also varies, so it's something that you should pay attention to. Have a smile. Smiling can keep you in an optimistic mood. This way, more people will approach you. They don't want to have a conversation with a tiresome person. Show enthusiasm in the latest technology, fashion trends, how things function, learning a new skill. Be sure not to smile instantly when you meet someone but midway somewhere in the conversation. But don't go overboard with this. People who take this too far seems like insincere and smarmy. Have a good sense of humor. It goes without saying that good manners, attentiveness, and courteous behavior help make a good first impression. If you're missing these things, you're missing the chance to leave a good impression at the first mark. Also, master the art of listening has the foundation of communication and the key to building strong relationships lies within. As you develop professional relationships, leverage active listening by being able to understand what's happening on the other side of the story. Give your full attention. Another indulging key to attract others is to give them full attention. If you listen to the other person attentively and show interest in your conversation, they start feeling special. When talking to someone, always look into their eyes. Sometimes, one piercing look can tell more than a thousand words. Eye contact shows that you're listening to your companion and that you understand and accept them as a person. Most importantly, when you're talking to someone at public, don't get distracted by irrelevant things. Add value to yourself. You will be thinking about how you can add value to yourself. Let me tell you, be honest with yourself first. If you are pretending to be someone else, your relationships will not last so long. People want to surround them with those who make them feel valued and appreciated. Remember, arriving early is much better than arriving late and is the first step toward creating a great first impression. Show others you care, point out their strengths, and always let them know you believe in them and what they're doing. Show that you mean business. This doesn't mean that you brag and make sure everyone knows exactly who you are and how amazing you are. It just means that you show people that this conversation is serious to you. It means that you arrive at appointments, meetings, and greetings early, and with confidence. When someone asks you about your goals, you should answer with confidence so they 100% believe you, and not in a way that makes the other person think you just asked them a question. Improve your communication skills. Get good at communicating your vision with others. Make the invisible clearly visible to them through your excitement and words. This is one of the most important tips for making a good first impression when meeting and conversing with someone new. Improving your ability to communicate ensures that you pick the right topics to talk about and that you cut the fluff out of the conversation. Just speak with confidence. 
Don't forget about body language. Be enthusiastic and stay positive. Don't compare yourself with others. The reason I am suggesting this is because when you compare yourself, all you do is make yourself feel miserable and frustrated. Also, avoid bragging and showcasing the success you gained. Being down to earth also makes you open yourself to listening to the points of view of other people. They may know something that you don't. The best thing to do is to be yourself and focus on things you can control and improve upon. This will make you feel good. Eliminate fear from the equation. Meeting new people can often be a scary thing, especially if they could potentially have a lot of influence on a part of your life, such as your career. But at the end of the day, fear isn't real. It's just a product of your imagination. If you can eliminate fear from the equation of meeting people, then you'll be able to just let things flow and not constantly overthink, which is always better for natural human interaction. I hope now you can approach anyone, and he or she must be ready to know more about you. If you follow these indulging guidelines. 